Hi everybody and I hope you're well and welcome back to this week's Advanced Class with us. That's Karen and Lucy from Ginger Jive. As always, before we get going, don't forget to check out those safety disclaimers either to the side or in the video description below. So for this session, our advanced move is called the Sway Choker and it looks like this. It's like I finally noticed I've been set free I've been set free I spent a lifetime running Fearing what I'd become if I Stop playing holy on all of my thoughts yeah. So the sway choker starts off like a standard sway, so we're right to right, just like we're shaking hands to each other, and pushing away with the back of our hand, it's both taking a step away. Now just like a standard sway, you're going to pull across with the right hand to whip your partner into your side, so we're both facing the same direction, and guys or leaders, you're, you're offering your left palm upwards. Now don't forget, like with any standard sway, you keep your right hand on your partner's hip, not up behind the back into a half Nelson, and the other thing is, just make sure your hand is underneath your uh, partner's arm, not over the top. So from here, just like with a normal sway, we're taking a step back, and this is where it all changes. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be walking up and down the room a couple of times. But as we start, we're going to lead our partners forward, and as Lucy goes forward, I'm going to take my left hand over her head, and I'm going to swap sides. So I'm actually going to step behind her and change sides with her. So I can actually take her, uh, her right hand out to the side there. We're doing three steps in all going forward. Now from here, I'm going to lead her back. Now my left hand is on her shoulder, I've still got hold of Lucy's hand, and I'm going to lead Lucy backwards with my left hand. As I lead her backwards, I'm going to step in front of her, and I'm going to take my right hand up to Lucy's shoulder. Now Lucy's in like a choking position, i.e. in a position like this. It's, it's quite easy to get into a habit of trying to go into a comb, because we're used to doing combs, but it's not... It's, it, does feel, if I'm honest, a little bit awkward because it's not a position we're used to. Now from here we're just going to lead our partners backwards as we step to the side. So again I'm still on the right hand side. Now I'm going to lead Lucy forward but she can't go forward because my arm's in the way so I'm going to raise my elbow and send her through. So she's going through again. So in this choking position I've still got hold of both hands. If in doubt just let go if it's, uh, if it's feeling a little bit too awkward. Now, this is where it all ends. As we lead our partners back, again, it's going to be three beats. We're going to be leading our partners back on one and two. I've gone over to the right again. Now, although I'm in the way, we'll do it from a different angle in a second, I let go of my left hand and I gently pull with my right to start turning Lucy. Now, obviously, if your partner has long hair, be careful not to start pulling on the hair here by mistake, like I've just done there. And then you're going to raise that right hand raise that right hand and turn our partners all the way around. Now at the end of the move, what you're going to do guys, is you're going to drop this right hand down. You're going to turn to the left and with your left arm you're going to do a circular sweeping motion all the way around so that we can then collect our partner's hand into our left hand and step back. We're just going to finish the, uh, the move off with a travelling return as we step across, raising our left hand to return our partners anti-clockwise as we step back in the end. So let's have a look at this from the follower's point of view. Now as a follower, once we've got into the sway, and we're going to show it from the other direction this time, this is what the followers do. We go forward for three. One, two, three. We come back for three, two, three three we go forward for three two three and as we start to come back one two that's when we unwind so basically we're walking forward and back for three beats so we're going to show it from this side this time so we're off in our right hand for the sway for the followers stepping away now your partner's going to draw you in for a normal sway and then they're going to cradle you back now as you go into that three walk forward your partner takes your left hand over your head and onto your right shoulder as they swap sides behind you. So that's our three walks forward. As your partner cuts you off in front, he pushes you slightly on the shoulder so that you now do your three walks back and your right hand will come up to your left shoulder. So one, two, three. Now from here, as your partner pulls on your fingertips, they're going to raise their left hand so you know you need to duck underneath for another three walks. One, 
two, three. Now from here, as your partner pulls back, maybe on kind of one or beat two, we're going to come back one, two. He's now going to let go of your left hand and start to unwind. Now we're unwinding anti-clockwise. Once we've unwound, your partner's going to raise his hand so we can go anti-clockwise again. As you turn to face, your partner does um, a half Nelson all the way round and then he brings his hand down. Now when we do this arm sweep, don't let your arm collapse straight away, keep it straight. So the arm straight, the arm straight and at the end your hand will just go down into your partner's. Finishing off with that travelling return and that's your sway choker. So as we speed this move up, it looks like this. We're going to step back into the side, sway back, and one, two, three, back, one, two, three, back, under, two, three, back, one, two, three, turn in your partner, sweep the arm, and back, return, and back.